two defeats and Marco Silva's Everton reign could be over, as fears grow. Our Everton jury have had three successive defeats to mull over as they consider their latest verdicts. And their thoughts make painful, but necessary, reading for Blues fans. Things just continue to get worse and worse for Everton. While last week's performance against Manchester City injected some much-needed positivity into the Blues faithful, Saturday's defeat to Watford brought everyone back down to earth with an almighty bump. There is no getting away from the fact things are looking bleak at the minute. This is a side which ultimately can't defend and can't score. Clearly a recipe to fail in football. And failing we are at the minute. While Marco Silva's side currently sit in ninth, the current decline the Blues are on is more than worrying. It's hard to see where the Blues go from here, they have a squad clearly lacking confidence and belief, and a manager clearly not keen on changing his philosophy. Talk of sacking Silva still feels premature, but the next two games are massive for him. Two defeats and his Everton reign could be over. The game at Watford was low on quality on Saturday with two poor teams, it could quite easily have been 0-0. Why does Silva keep chomping and changing the team every week? He accommodated Sigurdsson by playing him out wide, he is ineffective in the middle and even less effective out wide. There was no Adimola Lukman in the team again either. And when will Richarlison stop throwing himself on the floor when he is touched? Everton players don't do this. We now have a boring 17-day break which gives the manager plenty of time to work on tactics and defending set pieces. None of this warm weather training in a hot country, that is just a waste of money. We need to stop the rot of these defeats and start to play better, it cannot continue for much longer.